Hello guys and welcome back to JAM Chemistry class and in this class I'm going to be looking at isotopes and isobars. Do not forget that this video tutorial is brought to you by O3 School JAM CBT Practice App. It has been displayed on your screen right now. It is the best CBT Practice App available out there. Do not be, people do not be deceived by anyone, right? It has all the past questions available, all the recent past questions available on the app, right? Uh, wonderful features, right? And one of the best features which we pride ourselves in is the Jam Beauty Emmy Challenge, being that has been participated by what by student writing Jam for the particular year you are writing. So you test yourself to see how prepared you are, right? So it's a mock exam. You see your score, right? You will see your weaknesses. You improve on your weaknesses and so on and so forth all right so please do not forget what to jump on the opportunity download the app activate its activation is just 2500 naira. it's a small token that you are paying to say thank you for the wonderful work that you are doing all right so please head on to play store download the app activate it and be on your way to having a very 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 wonderful jam score if you want to check our testimonies Check the testimony video on this uh, on this uh, channel. You will see a lot of people having outstanding performances for using the app alone, even without even watching our videos. All right, so uh, uh, we are going to look at the concept of isotopy and isobarism. All right, so what are isotopes? Isotopes they are two or more are two or more atoms of the same element having the same number of protons the number of protons can also be called what atomic number number but different neutrons So isotopes are two or more atoms of the same element having the same number of what protons, that is the atomic number. Atomic number is the same, but what having what different number of what neutrons. In other words, you can say isotopy is a phenomenon whereby what two or more atoms of the same element have the same atomic number but different mass number. Their mass number is what is different. It has to be different because they're having the same number of protons but different number of neutrons. And for this to happen, it means that what that the mass number is what is different. All right. So if you say in other words, isotopy is a phenomenon. Isotopy is a phenomenon whereby two or more atoms of the same element. Whereby two or more atoms of the same element have the same atomic number but different mass number. Are you together? So the atomic weight or the atomic mass or the mass number or the nuclear number, they are what they are different. Right, but they have the same what atomic what number. A, a very very good example is of course uh, uh, the isotopes of hydrogen. Hydrogen has three isotopes. Number one, we have the proton. That is what hydrogen having uh, atomic number one and having mass number one. This is a proton atom of what of hydrogen. These are isotopes. This is an isotope of what of hydrogen. It has what atomic number one and what mass number what one. Then we have another isotope of hydrogen called deuterium. This deuterium has what mass number two, atomic number one, right? And then we have another isotope of, 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 of hydrogen called tritium. The tritium atom has what mass number three and what atomic number one. And if you look at them very closely, you can see that the number of neutrons here. Is the mass number minus what? Minus uh minus the atomic number. So that means a proton atom has what? One minus one minus one what neutrons. That is zero neutron. It has no neutron at all in the nucleus of the atom. Then a deuteron atom has what? Has two minus one 
a neutron. That's what one neutron. Now, why a tritium atom has what three minus one neutron, uh, neutron, which is what zero neutron. So you can see that what isotopy here is what is satisfied because we said isotopes there are two or more atoms of the same element having the same number of protons. You can see one proton here, one proton here, one proton here. Because proton number is is the same thing as what as atomic number, right? But different number of what neutron. So a proton atom has zero neutron. A deuterium atom has what one neutron, while a tritium atom what has what two neutrons. So if you see very well, you see that what these are isotopes of what of hydrogen. All right. So we can also see some other examples. Of course, we have chlorine. Chlorine uh, number seventeen mass number. I uh, saw the atomic number seventeen. Chlorine thirty five. We also have chlorine thirty seven. All right. So you can see that what they both have what the same number of what protons, right? The same atomic number, but their mass number here is different. So in that, how many uh, uh, neutrons are here? Thirty five minus seventeen. That's what. Here has what thirty five minus seventeen neutrons. Why it has what thirty seven minus what seventeen neutrons? You get. So of course. You see that this has 18 neutrons and this has what 20 neutrons. So now these are what these are what these are isotopes. Right? Isotopy is a phenomenon whereby uh, two, uh, two atoms of the same element have the same atomic number, a different what mass number. And of course, with these two examples, you have seen that what the concept of phenomenon and fully what are uh, extinguished that be explained to you to your understanding so do not ever be confused whenever i see a question about isotopy you should of course just know that this is what it is about check your past question use the question search feature on the o3 school jump app to search for isotopy go to chemistry use go to question search go to chemistry uh, and type isotopy any question that has come out under isotopy will be shown to you from the app that's another cool feature of the app all right, so now I'm quickly going to uh, jump into isobars. Like I said, do not worry about calculations, about isotopy or isotopes, because we are going to what, uh, have a special class, a special series treating what calculations in chemistry. Now, we're looking at what isobars. Now, isobars, there are two or more elements. There are two or more elements having what difference in their number of protons and neutrons. The number of protons are different, the number of neutrons are different, but they have the same mass number or atomic number or atomic weight or nuclear number. Now, let's see, isobars are two or more elements differing, differing in their number of protons and neutrons but having the same atomic weight now isopass are two or more elements differing in their what number of protons and neutrons but having the same atomic weights like i've said they have the same number of protons the same atomic number so <laughs> sorry they have they are different in one their number of what, protons and their number of what neutrons the number of protons are different the number of neutrons are different but their atomic weight or atomic mass or nuclear number they are what they are the same right if you see very well you see that what they are a direct opposite of what of isotopy right they are what direct opposite of isotopy all right so and that you need to know or you can also define what isobars as you can say uh isobars are two or more elements elements having the same atomic mass mass were different what atomic what number or protons atomic number or number of what protons all right so this is another definition for what for isobars isobars are two or more elements having the same atomic mass they have the same what mass number but they have what different what atomic what numbers or number of what protons 
So a common example of course is carbon fourteen. Car, uh, carbon fourteen. Okay, this is carbon atom number six. Fourteen. This is nitrogen. Sorry, nitrogen N. Uh, having mass number fourteen, number seven. If you look very well here, you see that what well, they have what the same what atomic mass 14 14 atomic mass here is 14 atomic mass here is what is 14 in nitrogen but of course the atomic number is different this is six this is seven so here the number of uh, protons here is what number of protons here is a six number of protons okay let me shift it backwards so that you see number of protons here is what is six or here is what is seven right now number of neutrons Number of neutrons here is 14 minus 6 is what? Is 8. 14 minus 7 is what? Is 7. You get this, right? Yeah. Number of what? We are seeing that there are two or more elements differing in their number of protons and neutrons. That number of protons is not the same. Neither is the number of neutrons the same. But they have the same atomic what? weight. Then, but mass number is what? Number, mass number is what? Is 14. Yeah? Is 14. Yeah? So this is a classic example of what? Of isobars. In that... They have what the same atomic mass, but they have a different number of what uh, they have different number of what uh, uh, protons and what and neutrons. They have the same what atomic mass or mass number. So this is a phenomenon of what I will call what um, uh, isobars. Then of course uh, there's another example: argon, potassium, argon, potassium, and what and calcium, all having what a atomic mass of forty. This is uh, eighteen. This is nineteen. Twenty. But how about 40, 40, 40? Now, most times the third case now is at 9 point uh, something, 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 right? But it's not, it can be rounded up to 40. You can also call them what isobars. So, this is another example of what of isobars that you can come across, right? So, do not be confused about anything that has to do with isotopes and what and isobars. And of course, this is where we're going to stop the class. In our next class, we'll look at what isotopes, I uh, saw the isotones. Isotones and congeners. That is isotones and congeners. And of course, do not forget to share the video. Do not forget to give it a like because the more you like, the more other students find our video. And do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscribing is absolutely free. F R O E E. You do not pay to subscribe. Subscribing shows uh, means that whenever we release a new video like this, you'll be among the first to be notified. You'll get a notification on your phone that all three schools has published a new video. You are not paying for it. It's completely free. Please do not forget to subscribe. Um, my name remains Olaibitangra, and I'll see you in the next class.